Hey everybody, welcome back to Mad Horse Barbecue. My name is Brian and in today's video, we're gonna be firing up the Gateway Drum Smoker once again. I don't know why I think that's cool, but I kind of think it's cool when I move out of the way. There's the grill. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna be firing up the Gateway and we're gonna do some chicken thighs. Um, I had the fortunate opportunity to head up to a KCBS comp uh, up in Cambridge, Minnesota called Minnesota in May uh, and learn from one of the best out there in uh, Ash Kickin' Barbecue. And uh, in today's video, what we're gonna do um, is some chicken thighs. And we're gonna do these up a little different. We're gonna kinda sorta do them competition style, but you know, I'm cooking for my parents, cooking for my girlfriend's parents. Uh, so they're not gonna be quite as extensive as competition thighs, but we're still gonna go over the process of taking the skins off, shaping them up a little bit, wrapping them up, you know, cooking them for a while, giving them a butter bath, and uh, saucing them up. So um, again, I'm gonna take you over, you know, take you through step by step on everything that goes into it. And uh, the first thing we're gonna start with is uh, trimming the thighs up. So take you into the little prep table I got set up and uh, well, let's get some thighs ready. All right, we're back. Um, here is a thigh right out of the chicken pack, or right out of the pack. This is just regular old, um, uh, you know, high V brand thighs, uh, super cheap, but I already got one kind of sort of done. Uh, and you can kind of just see how this one kind of sits. You know, it's kind of, you know, it's not super even, but you know, it's kind of cleaned up. Um, and that's kind of the goal we're looking for here is we're kind of not only do we want them to taste good We kind of want them to look pretty and you know when you take a thigh out uh, You know we got a bunch of skin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skin off And uh, that's pretty easy. You can kind of just work your thumb underneath it and You should be able to just tear it uh, It kind of sends a stick because there is a little seam uh, right here uh, So if it does that you can apply a little pressure and it should come off just like that. We're gonna set the skin to the side. Just like so. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is see we got our thigh. Uh, skin is off of it. We're gonna flip it over. Um, we got our knuckle end right here. And I'm just gonna take one of my knives and I'm just gonna make a line and go straight across and kind of just clean up that excess meat. Just like so. You can see it's nice and uh, you know, flat. I uh, hope you can see this. This is actually the second thigh video I shot. Uh, I shot the first one, but I had the camera over here, and my hand was literally blocking the camera the whole time, and I didn't realize it until I went to edit it. But um, yeah, you know, live and learn, I guess, and don't be a ding dong. But uh, anyways, after we got that done, uh, there is a little uh, piece of cartilage kind of up uh, up in this bone area right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're gonna get rid of most of that. And in order to do that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm just gonna make another cut straight down and that should get rid of most of that cartilage like so uh, now we're gonna start kind of sort of shaping the thigh uh, you can kind of see uh, that where that skin kind of ripped off there's a piece of fat there so I'm just gonna kind of sort of take it square it off and get that fat off, get that skin off there. Don't want to bite into that. Move that to the side. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. You can see we got that fat seam there. And uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of work it back a little bit and see if I can see uh, where the fat or the skin stops and the meat starts. I'm just going to take my knife and just kind of sort of cut down like that. Get rid of that. Uh, looking, you know, pretty good so far. God, the little freaking bugs. Uh, next thing we're going to do is that there is... There is a tendon um, back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I'm just going to go ahead and take the tendon out. Just like so. Uh, I might just clean this up a little bit, but you can kind of sort of, once you get it to the point to where you think you got enough of the fat off, you can kind of sort of start to shape it a little bit. And uh, I like big thighs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take just a little more off because the bone is right here. And you can see we got, yay, you know, that much meat over there. And then over here, we got about that much meat. So I'm just going to kind of take this right here and kind of just square it up. And uh, to me, that's looking uh, that's looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrap it in the skin. Got my skin here. I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out a little bit. If there's any hard fat, like right here, I'm just gonna take it out. Get the skin laid out, and I'm gonna take the the thigh, put it right in the skin. 
I'm just going to see how much I need here. Kind of flip it. Like so, let's make a cut right here. Get rid of that. And then from here, you can kind of just shape it how you want. But, you know, to me, that just, uh, you know, you don't have to do this. Again, uh, this to me is, you know, kind of sort of practicing for uh, the comp, you know, the competitions I'm going to be entering. And, uh, you know, we got a nice little rectangular thigh. So I'm just going to move that over to the drying rack. And now since I got that there, I got about, uh, well, 14 more thighs to go. So I'm going to just keep on cutting at this and uh, we'll probably pick back up when we're seasoning them up. All right, we are back. I uh, got all the thighs all kind of prepped up. You can see I had to go five, six, five. Um, got a lot of chicken on one pan. Uh, it's actually for the first part of the cook, gonna cook right on this pan, but um, not quite ready to throw an onion yet, but what I am ready to do is get it rubbed up. And we're gonna be using a combo of uh, two different rubs today. Uh, and the first one we're gonna use is my go-to uh, Tailgater BBQ Party Rub. Just gonna put a super light coat on everything. And uh, like I said in previous videos, uh, I use tailgaters pretty much for a base layer on everything. It's kind of like a, you know, a flavor enhancer, one could say. So let's go ahead and just put a light coat of the tailgaters on first. And that's going to be good on the tailgaters. Uh, next rub we're going to go on, we're going to go on heavier. Uh, this is going to be our main rub. Uh, and again, there might be, I'm pretty sure it's a fly, but I am deadly afraid of bees. And I'm not sure what it is. But uh, second coat of rub we're going to go on with this uh, Loot and Booty uh, Gold Star Chicken Rub. And we're going to go on relatively, you know, medium to heavy on this. Because this is going to be the main rub for this chicken. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to be good on this. Uh, so now, like I said, we're not quite ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this thing inside. <coughs> throw it in the fridge, excuse me, and uh, come back out and get the grill going. So when I get the grill going, we'll pick back up. All right, we are back, uh, obviously cooking on the Gateway Drum. Using a new kind of charcoal tonight. I'm um, using some uh, Rockwood Premium All Natural Lump Charcoal. It is the 100% Missouri Hardwood, 20-pound uh, bag here. Um, run about, probably right around 25 bucks. Um, I have heard that this is very comparable to the uh, Blues Hog uh, All Natural Lump, which I am also a fan of. So uh, we're going to just... You know, it, this cook's probably going to be about two hours, but I'm just going to fill the whole basket up, getting the grill going kind of early, kind of sort of for a little bit, um, practice and, you know, controlling temps and stuff. But let's just go ahead and open this thing up. First thoughts is, uh, you know, that's a pretty good size lump. Um, so let's just go ahead and fill the basket up. And again, all we're using is one of these little uh, Weber wax cubes. We're going to put it right in the middle. We're going to go ahead and put the coal basket in the barrel. And then we're going to open up both intakes, which you probably can't see, but open them both wide open. And then light the cube. Okay, I'm going to set up a timer for about 10 minutes and uh, shut the lid and uh, dial this thing in right to right around 300. So, uh, I think we'll probably pick back up when we're throwing a chicken on, so we'll see you then. All right, we're back. Ten minute timer just went off, so time to uh, kind of, you know, close the grill down, one could say. We're going to put the grill grate on, just like so. Stick the lid on, and then open the exhaust all the way. Uh, now, throughout the duration of this cook, um, my exhaust is never going to close. My exhaust is going to stay open the whole time. Uh, that is my goal on all barrel style cooking, whether it's, you know, my Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Pro or my UDS, which is very similar to this, uh, or, you know, even my WSM, you know, 18 and 22 inch. I love, you know, my main goal is to never shut this and just let all that, you know, smoke and air just go straight out. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're kind of going to just watch the temp here. Um, and you know the needle will start going up here pretty dang quick and once it gets to about 290 295 uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close these down probably to about a finger's worth which is gonna be about probably about this much on each one and that should hold it uh, right around 300 um, if it's you know 290 I'm fine with it if it's 325 I'm fine with it I just don't want to you know go much lower than 290 or much higher uh, than 325 for this cook and uh, that's just you know the way I want to cook it so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing dialed in and uh, we'll pick back up when we're putting the chicken on 
All right, we are back, and it's time to throw the chicken on. Uh, Gateway is humming right at that popular three hundo. Uh, you can see, you know, top all the way open. I had to close these down a little bit. I did let them go. Um, you know, I did let the temp kind of creep up to right around three twenty-five before I shut it down. So uh, we've been running at three hundred for like the last ten minutes. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, throw the chicken on. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and put the chicken on. It's gonna cook right on the pan, and this is just one method of doing it. Uh, again, I witnessed somebody. Oh, I leaked this floor. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I witnessed uh, somebody cooking it this way, and I'm gonna give it a try. So, um, cook right on the pan uh, for the first part of the cook, and we'll probably let this go for about 30 or 45 minutes. Uh, so, once we're at that next step, we will pick back up. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back. We're 45 minutes into the cook. Go ahead and take a quick peek at the chicken. And uh, yeah, you know. Kinda looks like checking. We're kind of checking to see if that, you know, rub is set on there. And you know, when I can put my finger across the top of it and the rub doesn't come off, uh, that to me uh, tells me that that rub is set. So now the next step is going to be I'm going to take this off the grill and we're going to put this all in a couple pans with some butter. So um, let me take you over to the prep table and I'll show you how we do that. All right, we are back. You can kind of see um, my pans are maybe could just be a little bigger, but you know, if I went with the bigger pan, I'd have a, I'd be hard pressed to get two of them in. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to put uh, four pieces of chicken. Uh, on you know kind of each side of the pan and then put a pad of butter in the middle the butter we're using today is uh, This well, it's Kerry gold pure Irish butter really can't see it. Oh sure you can Right there. That's the butter we're using and uh, all I'm doing Is uh, I'm taking the chicken right off the rack Put it right in the pan and Again, I'm really having to squeeze um, This in here to get four and four I'm Take a pad of butter Stick it right in the middle, like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do two more things. Uh, I am going to take just a little bit more of the uh, Tailgaters Party Rub, kind of just put it right on the butter. Probably a little bit more, that's probably like a couple of teaspoons worth. Be like a Tailgaters butter bath. And we are going to take a sheet of aluminum foil. And cover up the chicken yeah. and then once those are wrapped up we're gonna go right back onto the grill just like that close the grill down and then we're gonna let these go for Probably 20 minutes, 25, 20, 25 minutes, and I'm going to rotate it uh, about 90. We'll rotate it probably 180 and uh, let them go for another 25 minutes. So I'll tell you what, when we open this back up in 20, 25 minutes to rotate, we'll pick back up. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back. We're 25 minutes in. We're just going to go ahead and rotate this 180. Or we're going to attempt to here. Nope. So let's just do this. Right here. This. To here that'll be good enough so close this thing back down let it go for another 25 minutes and at that point we'll pick up with the uh next step which we're gonna be adding some sauce so stay tuned and we'll see you in about 25 minutes Alrighty, we are back uh we have been in the wrap now for about 50 minutes just 10 minutes shy of an hour um we're gonna go ahead and uh just check the temp on one of these pans so what i'm gonna do is pull it out shut the lid and kind of just work right on top here and see what we got. So I'm gonna unwrap it. And what I'm hoping for is right around the, uh, here I'll move it, right around 205, you know, 210 I guess would be acceptable, but 205 would be about ideal of where I want it. So let's go ahead and check temp on one of these. Two oh seven, uh, two oh eight. That's acceptable. Try not to go through the skin, but can't help it. Two oh seven. These are done. Two oh seven, two oh six. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull these off, bring them over to the prep table. Just let them sit for just about a minute or two, and then uh, we'll pick back up when we're saucing them up. So we'll see you then. All right, we are back. Uh, you can see we got the chicken right here. It's been uncovered. Uh, I just internal tempted. It's still at about one ninety five, so still plenty hot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take it from the butter bath, you know, the butter pans or whatever, and put it back on to the rack it originally cooked on. This is obviously washed. 
So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and now we got them all back on the pan. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take a spoonful of sauce. I'm gonna try to spoon it. You know, usually I dip it in there, but I heard that you know if you get a decent sized spoon, the spoon works too. Uh, this is preheated sauce. This is the uh, the Blues Hog uh, Champions blend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a spoonful, dump it right on there. If I gotta do maybe you know maybe like a spoonful and a half, it'll be fine. Just like that, works good. So let's go ahead and do all of them. I think that's about all we're gonna get. So we're gonna do three unsauced ones. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Sometimes unsauced is, you know, a little better, but um, you can see they kinda got a, you know, pretty nice color from it. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them back on the grill just to set the sauce for like another five minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and put it back on, and we're actually going to put it right over to Kohl's, shut the lid, and let it go for another five, maybe ten minutes, but we're not really cooking anymore, we're just setting that sauce. So uh, when it's time to taste these up, we will pick back up, so we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back, and it's time to eat. You can see I had enough sauce to get everything but about three of the thighs, top three thighs. Uh, real quick, go over these cook times. Um, did about... I can't even remember, like uh, 45 minutes just in the pan like this, did 50 minutes in the foil, and then about another five minutes uh, sauced. So that's a total cook time of uh, 45, 95, 200, about 200 minutes, I think, if my uh, math serves me right. So that'd be what, hour and 40 minutes for these things. Um, I could be wrong, check my math, but uh, um, super easy to do. But uh, let's go ahead and do a little taste test, see if we got the uh, bite through skin. And you know what, I'm gonna do something I never do. We're gonna do the taste test with my face, or maybe a special guest face too, right in the camera. So uh, let me uh, readjust the camera and we'll do a little taste test. All right, we're back with uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Tom Horseman wearing a Mad Horse barbecue hat. But he has a special guest tonight and you can see we got some cool shirts on that uh, my mother made. Our, you know, he's grandpa, my mother would be grandma to, you know, to Baker. But let's just go ahead and take one of these thighs and let's do a little thing and uh, a little taste test and see if we got bite through skin. Oh man, I can't wait. I'm gonna take this one, and a, a, a very good uh, point to doing this before you do this is you make sure they cool off. But uh, there's a the tie I'm gonna do, looking uh, pretty saucy. Go ahead and well, I, I just, oh, dropped mine. We go, just dropped it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it out and see what we got. Oh man! Mm -hmm. Oh, oh wow! Got some bite through skin there. Um, initial thoughts. Again, I love the Blues Hog Champion blend. Um, man, that's good. You know that little butter bath with the tailgaters in it. Got um, some more. And then that loot and booty uh, gold chicken rub or whatever oh, did real nice on these thighs. Let's go ahead and take another try. That sauce is awesome. Hmm. Yep. I want more. So that is uh, very good. You know, the flavor of that rockwood charcoal too is just, you know, oh. real nice. So now besides that, uh, Un we got to go. Unbelievably well. We got to go ahead and eat. Uh, you guys and girls have a good night. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, because uh, I'm the kind of guy who likes to buy grills, drink bush light, and uh, smoke meat. So, you guys and girls have a good night. We will see you next time. Mad Horse Barbecue on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, folks, I can't say it enough. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Pew.